The Lord has led you into a land flowing with milk and honey, that the law of the Lord may always be on your lips. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, as we celebrate this Eucharist, and as we've celebrated Easter, we thank the Lord for his mercy and grace as we, we journey and continue our journey of discipleship as a blessing and grace. Let's close our eyes for a moment, bringing all our intentions here. In the midst of all this celebration, let us continue to remember those who suffer, those who are in pain, those who are carrying their crosses, those whose tears don't seem to have an end. Those whose lives are filled with fear because of war. Of all the disturbances, political disturbances and troubles. And praying and asking God pardon and forgiveness for all our mistakes and faults. We pray together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, we, we adore you, you we, we glorify you. We give, we give you thanks for your, for your great glory. Lord God, God Heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of, God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The first reading. This Jesus God raised up, and of that we are all witnesses. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 14 and 22 to 33. On the day of Pentecost, Peter, standing with the eleven, lifted up his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and give ear to my words. Men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs that God did through him in your midst as you yourselves know, this Jesus delivered up according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God. You crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men. God raised him up, losing the pangs of death, because it was not possible for him to be held by it. For David says concerning him, I saw the Lord always before me, for he is at my right hand, that I may not be shaken. Therefore, my heart was glad and my tongue rejoiced. 
my flesh also will dwell in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to Hades, or let your Holy One see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will make me full of gladness with your presence. Brothers, I may say to you with confidence about the patriarch David, that he both died and was buried, and his tomb is with us to this day. Being therefore a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him that he would set one of his descendants on his throne, he foresaw and spoke about the resurrection of the Christ, that he was not abandoned to Hades, nor did his flesh, flesh see corruption. This Jesus God raised up, and of that we are all witnesses, being therefore exalted at the right hand of God, and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit. He has poured out this, that you yourselves are seeing and hearing. The word of the Lord. God. Psalm. Your response is, Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. Preserve, Preserve me, me, O God, God for, for in you I take refuge. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. You yourself who secure my lot. Response, preserve, preserve me, me, O God, God for, for in you I take refuge. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord before me always. With him at my right hand I shall not be moved. Response, Preserve, Preserve me, me, O God, for in you I take refuge. And so, my heart rejoices, my soul is glad, even my flesh shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to hell, nor let your Holy One see corruption. Response, Preserve, Preserve me, o, me God, o God, for in you I take refuge. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, bliss forever. Response, Preserve, Preserve me, me, O God, o God for, in for in you, you I, I take, take refuge. Acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, the woman departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee and there they will see me. While they were going, behold, some of the guard went into the city and, and told the chief priests all that had taken place. And when they had assembled with the elders and taken counsel, they gave a sufficient sum of money to the soldiers and said, Tell people, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed. And this story has been spread among the Jews to this day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be Lord Jesus Christ. In the gospel passage of today, we have the women who experienced the resurrection first come and tell the disciples what they had experienced. And then after that, the soldiers who went to the chief priests and told them what they had experienced. During my time in school, I always loved the athletics days 
those were the sports days where we used to have all the uh, athletic meet and i i used to do a lot of that when i was in school so i enjoyed it and uh invariably i enjoyed it because i'd either be on the podium or i would i would be in the finals of most so that's one of the reasons i enjoyed it one of those races that i ran was that of the 60 meters so we had the 60 meters the 100 the 200 the 400 and then everything the 1500 and the others but one of those that i ran was the 60 meters and uh we had the heats at the start and in the first heat itself that i was running i was running in the outer lane and uh the whistle went we started and i was way ahead of the rest and i completed the race now we had all the teachers who were who were actually positioned at the at the finishing line so that they'd be able to gather the first second and the third they go into the next round and so i finished the race first and i turned and looked and none of the teachers had held my hands so they usually go and hold one teacher holds the one who is first the other holds the one who is second the one another holds the one who is third and no one has held my hand so i went turned around and i went where they were where they were writing down the names of those who have passed or who have uh, uh, gone on to the second round and when i stood over there i saw three other boys who were there and the teachers holding each one so then they asked me why are you here and i said i came first and they said who said you came first and they said these are the three and then there were some of my friends as well who saw me cross the finishing line first so they came and said no he's the one who came first so there was a big argument i was i think maybe year 5 year 4 or something like that but um uh there was a big argument and in the end it was our word against theirs now we all know who wins in that kind of a situation your five students versus the teacher's word it was always the teacher's word we didn't stand a chance and i was so upset about it that whole day in today's gospel passage it's my word against your word who's that my word and that is that of the women who got to see the resurrection they went and told everyone we got to see the resurrection jesus is alive now that was their word now there are different traditions though the bible doesn't specifically mention about it there are different traditions that speak about how in in the jewish tradition the the women's testimony was not given much importance now there isn't anything specifically in the scriptures that actually um that actually say that that is true but it is said in tradition that in the old jewish tradition the women's testimony is not considered as valid and she needed supportive testimony for that irrespective of if that is true or not this is now the the woman's word against that of the soldiers so the soldiers go and tell the chief priests and the scribes so on one side you have the chief priests and the scribes who have told the soldiers tell everyone they who are in power they who have authority they who are more prominent are now telling everyone that his disciples came and stole his body there is no resurrection and then you have the women who are now crying out and saying there is the resurrection we've seen jesus rise we've seen jesus come to us and speak to us so my word against your word and what did people believe as the scripture ends it in today's gospel passage it ends and says they took the money as they were and did as they were directed and this story is still told among the jews to this day that jesus didn't actually rise but his disciples came and took his body and yet after that the disciples are still expected to proclaim the resurrection they are still expected to tell the world that jesus rose again and very often that would have been a very lonely voice like it is when we speak about john the baptist in i think john chapter 1 verse 23 or so when when they come and ask john who are you and he says i'm that lone voice in the wilderness i'm the voice of one crying out in the wilderness that lone voice and very often the voice of those who proclaim the resurrection will be very lonely voices and yet after easter this is what we are called to proclaim we are called to tell people jesus has risen again 
That is what we celebrate. That is our belief. That's the foundation of our faith. As St. Paul says, if Jesus did not rise again, then our, our faith is a waste. If we were just believing in one who just died on the cross but never rose again, then our faith is a waste. We believe in the one who has rose again. He has risen. And that is what we proclaim. So all of us are called to proclaim the risen Christ. We're supposed to speak to others about the risen Christ. Maybe our voice will be that weak voice when compared to the world whose voice seems to be louder. The loud of the, the voice of the atheist seems to be louder. The voice of the people of this world, the voice of science seems to be louder. The voice of reason seems to be louder. And very often, the voice of faith, if it doesn't adhere to the voice of science or the voice of reason, it is brushed aside. And it might be so difficult, obviously, for, for science or for reason or for atheists or for people who don't believe to embrace the message of the resurrection. And yet, you and I are called to proclaim Christ who has risen, even if that is a single voice. So let's never be embarrassed as, as uh, Acts, sorry, Romans chapter 1 verse 16 says, for I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for salvation. I will not be ashamed to speak about Christ crucified and Christ who has risen. Acts chapter 4 verse 2. What annoyed the council was this. When Peter and John were speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came to them much annoyed. Why? Because they were teaching the people and proclaiming that in Jesus there is the resurrection of the dead. That in Jesus there is the resurrection of the dead. Why? Because we who have died with the in a crucifixion like his, we will rise again as well. Romans chapter 6 verse 5. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like him. And so that is what the early Christian community um, enjoyed speaking about this, spoke about the resurrection of Christ. What do we enjoy speaking? What do we enjoy proclaiming? As we've, as we've celebrated one beautiful week, that's the foundation of our Christian faith. It's not meant to be a week where we just keep it into our hearts and speak nothing about it. But rather it's a week where we now go forth and we tell people Jesus has risen again and that is our faith. Let's close our eyes for a moment. Lord Jesus, very often when we proclaim the passion, death and the resurrection, we will not be accepted. Especially when we speak about the resurrection. Maybe science, maybe reason, maybe people of the world, maybe people who don't believe will reject us outright. Maybe our voice will be that lone voice. Maybe we are weaker. Maybe our voice is not loud enough. But we remember the two women who went and told everyone, Jesus has risen. Give us the grace to go forth and tell everyone, irrespective of we, if we are rejected or accepted, if our words are believed or not, to tell the whole world, my Lord has risen and I believe in the resurrected Christ. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come see, come see what spirit eyes, come see, the door is open, come near.
Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them, we lift up, them up, to the up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, it is right and, and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of, of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Malcolm Cardinal Ranjit, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Vincent de Paul and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
with confidence in the love of the Father, let us pray the prayer Jesus so lovingly taught us. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer one another a meaningful and loving sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, I eat your body, I drink your blood. Let it not bring me condemnation, but health in mind and body. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. communion my Jesus I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart I embrace you as you are already there in my heart I unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. God's not dead. He is alive. God's not dead.